Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today we're going to take a look at how to overlay and compare documents in Bluebeam. This is going to be a great tool to help you to show what content have been added or removed from the document. So without a further ado, let's jump into a Bluebeam so we can review it together. So first we're going to take a look at overlay. I have selected two drawing, one from 50% and next from 95%. It's going to be a lot of changes and intentionally I picked these drawings so you guys can see the difference between two revisions. First we're going to hit to document tab, overlay pages, and since I selected 50%, the color red is going to go to 50 and then green for 95 so if i cancel this and select 95 go back here you guys can see by default bluebeam put 95 a red and 50 and green you can modify this by kind of clicking this one and adjusting everything but it is recommended by bluebeam uh, to always select the revised document as color green that's going to be uh, make the process smoother and also they're they're, ad, they're advising not to change these colors um, you have two options um, you can just hit ok if everything is the same size uh, Bluebeam is gonna overlay everything automatically but let's assume worst case scenario we do not have the similar size and similar drawing so we're trying to pick three points that is common between these two drawings so I'm gonna hit align points um, so I'm going to pick grid line 1 and A on this one. And then I'm going to grid line 7 and A. And then the next one I do D and 4, which is going to be here. Um, I always try to pick a, a kind of a triangle. So it's going to cover everything. It's going to make the alignment so much smoother and more accurate so this one is going to be the same thing exactly here i follow the same order the order is important so you guys need to follow the same order that you did on a previous drawing so point two and point three would be four and d which is going to be right here okay and right now everything is aligned i followed uh, the same picking order for both drawing and I selected 95% which is my revised drawing as document B so right now I'm just gonna hit OK and it's going to get me the overlay pages okay overlay process is done and now this is the final document that we receive so the first thing that I check I check the grid lines I want to make sure that everything is aligned and I don't have misalignment so in this case I can see all the grid lines from document a and B are al aligned properly and then I can right now start my investigation and go a little bit deeper into the document so right now I know the color red is my 50% green is my 95% and everything that kind of remains black that's all that hasn't been changed and this is gonna be the easy process for you guys to compare two documents especially for plumbing mechanical electrical you can see exactly how um, documents have been changed and have been evolved in different revision for those who has Bluebeam review if you can go to batch uh, right here you have overlay pages so you don't have to do one by one um, if you have the Bluebeam review you have that ability to go to batch and basically do the whole sheet if you have all electrical drawing and all mechanical plumbings this is gonna be a great tool for you to just avoid doing one by one and you can do a batch overlay pages next we're gonna head um, to the document and we want to talk about compare documents there is a big difference between compare documents overlay pages overlay pages basically just placing the two document on top of each other and just stack them but compare documents create a cloud around the area and give you a markup list of all the changes it's a very easy process 
um, to do that and as we talked about it's going to be the same process here um, for Bluebeam extreme users you guys can use a batch function to do all the sheet but if you don't have it you want to do one sheet at a time you need to basically just use the document so click on that one same window opens document a you have a drop down you can select them but it is recommended by Bluebeam to keep um, the revised document as document B because this is where all the markups is going to be uh, placed. Uh, this is going to be the output where you want to save them. If you want to only do a section and all your drawings are the same, you can select a window. But worst case scenario, we're assuming that drawings are not the same. They're not going to follow the same scale or the location. I'm just going to pick a point. So same process, three points. I'm gonna do A and one, and then I'm gonna do A and seven, and then four and D. Just make sure you follow the same order of picking the points on the second document. So one and A, so I'm gonna just click here, and then go to seven and A, and then the next one, it's gonna be four and D right here. So as soon as I do that, it's gonna open up another box. So this is gonna be the split screen view, which is synchronized for more understanding, more analysis. Basically, it's gonna show you um, the re revised drawing with the original drawing so you guys can see what's been changed. And also, if you wanna have the under underlying um, drawings be dimmed you can turn this off i can show you somewhere else that you can do it if you don't want to pick this this is going to be the more advanced if you want to change the color change uh, the naming you can apply a different color you know the sensitivity and everything if you want you can kind of go through all of this but i'm just going to skip this and just hit okay at this point so you guys see how it's going to look like it's going to take a few minutes depends on how many documents you have and okay so comparing process is completed um, you guys can see all the markups are placed on our 95% which is document B and 50% which is document A it's in the split view for you guys to reference um, the next one that we want to talk about is the dimmer so dimmer dims the P underlying PDF content so if I turn it off you guys can see basically it turns off that and turn it on just turn it back on when I click on it and if you want to select in the 95% I can do the same thing over here so basically turn it off as you guys can see and I can turn it back on and it brings everything back the next one that we want to look at is all the um the documents over here so this is basically our markup list it telling us you know the differences all the clouded area and the easiest way to find it is just kind of click on them so as you click on these items it basically goes over there and you can see the views are synced you can go one by one it basically shows you all the area that's been added or moved or changed the main thing here that you can use is you can use the status so this is going to be the filter if you want to add any uh items to this to have a, a look at it as a as a punch list or you can use it as a communication tool to identify all of those issues and follow up and close them and see why there's going to be a bunch of differences in our drawing this is going to be a great place to use the status to close the items put the follow-up and this is all customizable we're gonna have another video going through all of these columns really quick uh, for you to see this is gonna be the column that you can turn on and off any of these um, also markups is gonna be exported and then you can create a summary of all the changes and share that with everyone thank you guys for watching today's episode on overlay and compare documents if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to learn in Bluebeam so I can create a content that work with your workflow. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.